let me ask you a question. You got geese. I ask that because, my goodness, do I have a bunch of geese. I'll tell you what. Right? I'll tell you what right after we, uh, we talk to this little man right here. Look! Someone's here! Uh, I, I looked ahead a little bit, and I'm pretty sure this guy's the curator of the museum. And he is French, I think. Who's there? Ah, yes. Yes! I am saved! Oh, Mario! I had to run down here and hide from those horrible folded soldiers. Pardon me. I should introduce myself. I am the curator of the Musée Champignon in Town Town. It's a museum with a splendid collection of objects, music, treasures, and origami, and other wondrous items. And we have managed to acquire the legendary Supermarino Sea Vessel, believe it or not. I do hope you'll come visit soon. We're open, even with all of the organized crime we've seen of late. Okay, my, you know what? I, I'm, I'm, I'm interested. I'm, I, I might have to check it out. Musée Marino? I'm trying to remember those words instead of... Oh, right. <laughs> I'm trying to remember those words instead of that toad's face. It just kept getting closer. It was all I could focus on, but maybe the words were more important. I don't know. Should we go back to town and check out the musée or whatever it is? Later. So yeah, I, I have geese at my house. And because I, I have this pond uh, in, in the backyard and they, man, they just stink and poop all over the flipping place. It, it's ridiculous. I mean, how in the world am I supposed to, uh, no, I wasn't paying attention to how these moved. Just like that. There we go. They poop all over the place and their feathers all everywhere and and they won't fly away because I'm guessing they had a little little gosling. A little Ryan Gosling born <laughs> in, in the by the pond. So they're just there all the time pulling out their feathers and you know preening and sneaking pooping everywhere. I mean, we've always had a problem with keys here. Even I remember when I was younger, I had uh, this, like, I had sandals on. Just, like, uh, did they wake up? No, uh, uh, I had sandals on, and I was running down there. I don't remember. I was playing with my sister or something, and I slipped in this poop. Because they, I'll tell you what, geese have some greasy, slippery poop. They, I just slipped in all over my shirt, all of my arms, just ugh, in my sandals. It was just not a good time. And then whenever I have to mow, I just, oh, it's a nightmare. So I ask, have you got geese? Do you suffer the same pain? Specifically Canadian geese. They're, they are a pest. Oh, still got them. Well, anyway, that little rant over. I just want to welcome all the people that are uh, coming back from previous videos and to any newcomers who uh, may have somehow stumbled upon this tiny channel and just welcome you and thank you for being here it's gonna be a good time it's gonna be a good time playing some Paper Mario Origami King uh, and uh, yeah we'll be talking about uh, The War of the End of the World a book by Mario Vargas Llosa Mario and a Mario. How about a little Mario with your Mario? Huh? So we'll be talking about that uh, when we get some free time. I, I like to, I don't know, maybe I'll put it more towards the end of the video. And uh, I don't know, if you're reading along, uh, I am right. I just finished chapter three and a lot is happening in that book. I will tell you what. But... A lot, and a lot's happening in this game, you know? We're on our way to Princess Peach's castle. Right as soon as I fill up this hole. I don't know how big this tunnel is. 
I mean, typically with Mario, you just, you go down the pipe and... I don't know, we went down the sewer, we didn't go down the pipe, did we? Die! I don't know what that was, but I'm killing it. I don't like those... Oh! It's a rat! Ew! Get the rats away from me! Ugh. Ugh. And I'll, another thing I want to mention is... Wow, my appreciation for YouTubers is going up and up. Like, every minute I do this this playthrough thing. Not only for the editing stuff, like post, uh, you know, commentary and gameplay. Be I mean, that stuff is hard too. I don't, I do not know as much about Photoshop and Premiere Pro and Audacity and all those applications as... I, I, I just am not as tech savvy as I thought. And, uh... Yeah, and, and then, like, on top of that, just, like, trying to commentate while playing a game, it's it's a skill, honestly. Tip, tip your YouTubers. <laughs> uh, no, uh, yeah, no, but I'm just, like, way more appreciative of the YouTubers who do it well. Especially, like, people who provide good commentary. You know, instead of just screaming and stuff. Uh, I am still trying to provide good commentary. <laughs> Hopefully it's getting there. But yeah, it's it's a skill. It really is. It's uh, you know, public speaking. It, it's not in a in a room or anything like that, but it it is just as difficult trying to juggle two things at once. But I'm enjoying it. You know what? It's a good time. I'm reading the book and talking, playing a game. It's the stuff I love most. So, it's uh Good to be here with y'all. Uh, let's line these little dudes up and get ready for some stomping. Stomp on their little dumb heads. Yes. Aha, excellent. Mm -hmm. Come on, come on. There we go. Perfect. All right, so chapter three. Now it, it it is now time for story time with Sam on random rats. Since it doesn't seem like we're just gonna be doing some battling and some exploring here, so it picks up chapter three does with the counselor that we have mentioned before. So and as soon as I start talking, hey, there's a pipe over there. I wonder where it leads. I bet you can hardly contain yourself when you see a pipe that inviting, huh? Oh no! It's all flooded! We can't get across with all of that water there! We'd get soggy! Well, I guess not. This is Paper Mario after all. hit something. That's what everything in this game is to him. What I say, what I say. Yes, come to me, my army of rats, so I may smite thee. <laughs> so chapter three picks up with the counselor, and he, like, in an earlier chapter, he burns basically the decree that is taxing the town, uh, saying there, it's just the Republic, it's all sinful, everybody's sinful, so he burns it, and the government catches whiff of this, and they're like, uh, we're not having that. We can't have no Boston Tea Party situation up in here. So, <laughs> uh, what happens is that they send soldiers. They send a group of soldiers, they send a group of soldiers to try to figure out where this guy is and capture him or kill him. I don't know exactly what their intention is, but they go to the town and they eventually find this group of people and they're all gathered around and they don't know exactly who the, the counselor is. So they just start questioning people. Hey, who, who is it? Oh, a magic circle. Did those mean folded soldiers hide it? They sure did. Yeah. Oh, wait, turn this way. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. 
So they're they're questioning the people, and the people just go flipping nuts. They just start attacking, and before the policemen or the soldiers or whatever can start thinking of what to do, they just go ham on them. They just thinking beat them up and kill a couple of them and uh, of course they also received some casualties oh the water disappeared yes it did how do i oh i must how do i get up there oh i see the stairs through the little window anything over here and uh, no so very nice I found out too that, oh no, wrong, Ugh, wrong button. I can tell which, how much I've completed over here. So I, I might, I don't know if you guys want me to go back and uh, be a completionist or if you just want to see gameplay, let me know in the comments. I can do whatever. Uh, I'm usually a completionist when I uh, play a game on my own, but I'm happy to do whatever. So back to the story. So the counselor, the the people are attacking the the uh, officers, and they they don't get the counselor. They just like flee, and you know they go back and report. Oh shoot! I was trying to hit them with the hammer, but they jumped on my face. They got jumped on my spaghetti. Uh. Uh, yes. And uh, there we go. So, uh, the, they report to the the officials of what happened. And then the the counselor... Come on. Then the counselor uh, is just... Instead of the people being mad that, you know, some of them were killed, uh, they love the counselor even more. And he basically gets this idea of, like... Oh, you know what we should do, guys? We need to separate ourselves from society. Because society is the... Oh, I, saw, I see you over there. I see you. Hello. Mario! Thank you, Mario! For saving me! Oh, there he goes. And uh, so they decide, or the counselor kind of brings this up. Just let's let's go away and build a community because he made a prophecy that Jesus would uh, come back. Uh, I'm so used to just like going down to push to go down the pipes, just holding down. You have to hit a. So they decide to go to Canudos, this town, and build a temple and create a society. And that's exactly what they do. And then the story cuts over... Oh. Hey, we made it to the entrance of Peach's Castle! That sewer really is pretty neat! <laughs> yes, I've been to a lot of neat sewers in my day. I mean, I suppose we shouldn't celebrate just yet. We need to see if your poor brother's green hat is okay. And your brother, too! Okay. Let's go see you. A Luigi! Are you okay, Luigi? Where are you, Luigi? Oh, there's his car. Hmm, what's all that? Did that pile of junk come flying out of the castle when my brother took it? How dangerous! Is there anything over? Yes, there is. Yes, there is something over here. Ba, 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 ba. Can I hit this little rock? Nope. Uh. So it cuts, then the chapter three, then it cuts over to the Scotsman. And I forgot his name in the previous episode, so I didn't mention it. But his name is Galileo Gall, or that's his alias. He goes by that name. I don't exactly know what his real name is. He's hiding his real name because he doesn't... <gasps> Luigi's hat! Are you in there, brother? Your brother's hat! Someone wrote Luigi on the inside in very small letters. Is that something Luigi would do? Where could he be, Mario? Help me. I guess that's Luigi. Oh! 
It's almost like the head just spoke to me in Luigi's voice, asking me for help. I'm all folded up somewhere. Maybe in between dimensions. Somebody help! There it is again! It almost sounds like he's in between dimensions like I was. But how could that be? Um. Oh, poor Luigi. I'm sure he's met with a really bad fate thanks to my brother. Mario, can I keep this hat as memory? I didn't know Luigi, but I miss him anyway. <laughs> what? It's too bad it has to be this way, but we can't let it get us down. We will hold and treasure your hat forever, Luigi. Uh, well, we know it's not the hat. She, she's just dumb. Okay, it's a condition. Uh, so he's gotta be... Don't forget about me. Are you walking away? Ma Mario. Yes. He's gotta be over here, right? There's nothing else anywhere. So the Scotsman. Galileo Gall. Uh... Is he in the pot? No, he's got to be in the wall. He said in between. Yep. Yep. <laughs> just what I thought. Uh, just what I uh, thought. I'm so close, bro. I look at you, Luigi. Oh, there it is. Wah! A Luigi. Am I saved? I feel a weird. There you go, bro. Phew, that's more like it. I'm so glad you're okay, Luigi. Not that we had any doubt. <laughs> I, st I still want the hat. My name's Olivia, by the way. I owe Mario big time for all his help. By the way, as someone who's been there, I'm wondering how you ended up trapped between dimensions. Let's see. A uh, shy guy put me in there, but not a regular shy guy. He was thick and edgy. Edgy shy guy. Before I knew it, <laughs> so you see Before I knew it, you had me folded up and tucked me away in there. Said it'd be back for me later. It must have been Ollie, right? How awful for you! But at least you didn't get turned into a folded soldier. Oh, but I do have some good news. Your head survived without you. Did Did she think it was part of him? My hat! Oh, but what happened to the whole castle? And the a princess? Ah, oh, I thought you'd be happier to see the hat. Well, my brother cannot peach in her castle. Still got the hat, though. We're on the way to stop him right now, but it's a long way and there are streamers blocking us. Oh, uh, that's right. I was gonna go look for the key in Peach Peach's castle. We got locked in, remember? Yes, I remember. Mario's always saving me, so I just wanted to do something nice for him for a change. I'm really happy to see my cat again, but I gotta find the key. Uh, let's -a go! Ho ho! Well, definitely, uh, well, we definitely might need the key if we make it to the castle, so let's spend all our hopes on Luigi. Uh, Olivia, I don't know if that's such a good idea. Good luck, Luigi! See you later! Oh. <laughs> I, I don't need the hat, though. Yeehaw. Well, now that we know he's okay, what should we do next? I mean, we're still headed to Peach's castle, but should we look around for clues first? For clues? Where well, there's some money here. So Galileo Gall, in the story, he uh, is on his way to Canudos, to the t same exact town that uh, the counselor is going to, because he's heard rumors of uh, what's going on there, and uh, you, you know he heard that the soldiers were killed, were murderized, and he's just curious about what's happening. So he uh, asks this guy, I forget what the like Fabio or something. <laughs> uh, I forget what the guide's name is, but he asked this guy basically to guide him there. And he... Oh, somebody moved that pile of junk that was there. It was probably Luigi, wasn't it? I wish my brother was as kind of thoughtful as yours. Huh? 
so uh what happens is that he he actually goes to visit a monastery that has a uh what you call it a monk who oh man oh i think we found the castle it's right there but i don't know how long we're gonna make it i don't know how we're gonna make it past those streamers they're weirdly strong for paper Plus, it looks like they're coming from different places. Will we have to go all over the world to unravel them? So if the red streamer is going in this direction, it seems like following it will lead us to where we need to go, doesn't it? I guess so, Olivia. You know, you might be speaking sense. We go over this way. Hmm. Hmm. Somebody! Is that the Goomba up there? Help me! I'm in between dimensions! Luigi! Luigi, you better not be! Hey, it sounds like somebody nearby is in the same kind of jam I was earlier. Should we help him? Watch it be Luigi again. How do I... Oh. I just keep hitting it. Get down here! <laughs> yes, I got you, son. Pop! They never saw it coming. Oh, oh, that undoes everything. There we go. So the Scotsman visits this monastery to see uh, to see the monk, and the monk basically reports what's going on there. And it is some weird culty stuff, man. This so apparently they are just doing away with pretty much any anything that resembles the Republic. So they just got rid of marriage altogether. Basically, they're like, you know what? You don't need marriage. Oh, phew! Thank you so much! Now I can get back to my shop in Toad Town! Hate to be away for more than a few minutes, you see! It's a big problem! I'm working on my control issues, but we got weapons, items, all sorts of useful things! Stop by! Okay, okay, I can do that. Aw, oh, man! The bridge didn't used to be all broken up like this! How am I supposed to get back to my shop? I guess I have to do that. Two. It's a big red tab or purple tab, man. Purple, yellow. You just pull it. Come on, come on, Toad. Use your brain. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! You fixed it. Thank you. I'm literally gonna sprint over to my shop right now. But first, here's a free sample of my wares. Enjoy. <laughs> I'm off. Gonna put the fire. I assume it's burning down my shop because I wasn't there. Wow. Not very optimistic. You know what? Let's go check out Toe Town. Uh, actually, I think there's a save block here. Ooh, we'll save. And, uh, yeah. That's a good time to end it. Uh, this episode. So if you enjoyed this content... I would really appreciate it. It'd really help out my channel if you could uh, like this video. Maybe consider subscribing. And if you uh, really, really, really like this, well, how about you uh, maybe tell some of your buddies? Tell your friends. Tell your family. Tell them, hey, there's this channel, Random Rice. Check it out. Maybe you like it. I don't know. I don't know, man. But uh, yeah, we'll be doing the same thing. More Paper Mario. Talking more about that book. The War of the End of the World. And uh, I'd also, like, if you guys want to see me play a game or, you know, want to see me read a book, I, I want to stick with this for now for a little bit. But next game or maybe even uh, I'll switch out some episodes to do uh, whatever other game you guys recommend or you want to see something. You know, I want to get your feedback. I want to hear uh, what you guys have to say. And if you want to know more about me, uh, leave some, uh, questions down in the comments. Uh, I I'd be, uh, very happy to answer them. Get you, 
give you a little glimpse of who I am. But for now, that'll be it. Until next time, peace.